I have a Dragon Prince deck as well. I might play some of that at some point to compare, but... Yeah, Ginger Patrol, there aren't much early game minions because it's a ramp druid. The idea is that you ramp with wild growth with innervate, so you get to play some value out. This might be a dragon priest, but this is probably a control priest. Now I don't have any ramp. Or much in or much else either. So I either rat this down or I hero power face. I guess I'll hero power face. Let's see what happens. The worst case scenario here is probably that he coins out of Ellen's chosen on it. Then I have to take some damage before I can silence it with the keeper. The other possibility is that he plays a Death Lord, and if he plays a Death Lord, then I would like to have the Rat and Swipe available. Yeah, there's the Valence. I'm going to take a little bit of damage. That's why I'd quote. Bashki, Dragon Priest. Yeah, I guess I can play a Dragon Priest. I can play Game of Dragon Priest after this one. I guess I will silence that. I don't get the healing effect either if I do. But I can't kill it from 9, like ever. Let's just silence. Now if he has Cleric. Oh, no Cleric. I could swipe. Do I cycle a rat? Yeah, I could. I might as well. Let's swipe here. Cycle this rat and kill off that one. Nice, get to, getting to draw some cards. I like cards. He did get me down to 21, which is pretty sweet. He's going to get to 6 mana next turn, so he could entomb Chromagus if I play Chromagus now. I think it's a bit too risky. I'll just go with the Twilight Guardian. It's hard playing against a priest. Have to try to play carefully. On the other hand, you don't want to give him too much time either. I think Chromagus would be too risky. This is a deck, after all, that can can play a long game. Let me change your mind. I don't want to get Twilight Guardian damaged too much. So I got just Corruptor and Wrath down the Cabal. If I take four to the face, I could cycle my Wrath. I'm gonna take forward to the face and innervate. No, let's just play it. Let's just play it out. Let's just play it out like this. But he has seven cards in hand. So he has definitely been able to outvalue me so far. And with cards like Museum Curator, he's going to be able to continue to outvalue me. I'm not sure, maybe I should have just played Chromagus when I had the chance. How much can I play around Entomb? And for how long? Do I silence this one now? What if he has Sylvanas? I won't have more silence effects left if I use it now. I guess I can just trade. Let's just trade. Let's time that out. Let's do this. Oh no, what can I circle? Hero power circle. That's pretty strong. Clears the board. 
I have to use hero power to kill the orc, can I? I think that's still fine, though. Well, I could use Corruptor to kill the orc, can I? But Corruptor will have more uses later. Let's just use our hero power here. And draw some cards. The problem here is that I don't... No, I don't dare to play Chromagus. Maybe I have been too scared. Maybe I should have just played Chromagus out. Maybe I should have just played Chromagus out as soon as possible. Well, here's a good use for the Corruptor. You should have just played Chromagus out as soon as possible and hope he doesn't have Entomb. Light Bomb is pretty good here. Go in with the Belcher here. Belcher at least survives a light bomb. Yep, that's a light bomb. Yeah, I know he will be holding in tomb. He doesn't have a lot of cards in hand though, but yeah, it's quite likely one of them is in tomb. Yeah, Daedalus, that, those are basically the options. Either you try to play it as fast as possible, or you don't play it at all, almost. I could draw with Chromagus right now. So if he doesn't have any tomb for it. Risky things, risky things. I guess I want to kill the Death Lord. Let's see what I find from there. Well, now we're definitely going to find out whether he has Entomb in his hand or not. There is no way we're not going to find out whether he has Entomb. <laughs> There's the Entomb. Happens. Then it's time to drop the Chromagus. And draw with the Wild Goat. Because now I have to be fast before he finds the zero. Let's see if he has a second Entomb. He might have just a Shadow Word Death. They are often running one, one copy of Entomb and one Shadow Word Death. So he had double Entomb and he had them both in hand. That's pretty sweet for him. Now this game turned into a really fast paced tempo game where I have to out tempo him or I lose he has used one light bomb I just have to go all in now and out tempo him or I will just lose one light bomb is gone one orc and I circle is gone he has one copy of each left but Having both of those Entombs in his first 15 cards and getting both Ysera and Chromagus, that was, that was pretty nice for him. Does he have another circle? Or some kind of flash heal finisher? But that is all of his burst. Holy Nova can kill the Emperor if I kill the Orc, can I now? But that happens. I could also just deal 2 damage to it. Let's try that way. Let's kill it with these. By an Ancient of War. Hit face. See how this goes. If I only was a combo druid, I would have won this game right here, right now. Now both Oak and I are gone, so he doesn't have any burst left. That's the upside. 
Let me change your mind. Okay, more cabal. Does he have a light bomb? I could play double chill more here. I could hit, hit, innervate, hit, hit. Play double chill more. See if he has another light bomb. I don't have more dragons in my hand. Now let's trade here. But I have to play both chill moss if I go for the chill moss. Otherwise the ch effect will activate. So now basically all in that he doesn't have a light bomb in hand. Now I'm all in on him not having a light bomb. And this is lethal by the way if he doesn't have anything. Even if he heals face like a nightmare. Okay, Mjerek, see you. He's looking for the light bomb. No light bomb, but he had the Death Lord. I don't have enough damage. I guess I will do the stuff all the other way around. Then let's kill the Death Lord. 10, 16. Oh, it is lethal. 10, 16, 21. You're right. I don't know how I didn't count that right. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Daedalus. <laughs> yeah. You saved me. <laughs> Against the priest, huh? How do I deal with the priest anyway? I'd like to innervate something big out. I might keep the belt sure to innervate if I don't get anything else. Is injured? There's a cleric and I believe I want to rat the cleric. Denying card draw from the priest is like the most important thing. That's why I kept the rat in the hand. I really don't want him to be drawing cards. If I'm willing to float the mana, I could innervate a Blackwing Technician. I could also innervate a swipe on this. If I innervate a swipe on this... Yes, say one, I, I really prefer the roots. Raven Idol is great value, but I needed something that I can use early on. I, I reviewed all the games where I played Raven Idol and I was too far behind when I played it, so... Didn't do that. He could play balance on this. It would be a 5-5. Five, five. Let's innervate a swipe. I deny balance, I deny power word shield. I don't want him to have a target for power word shield because that would let him draw cards. I don't want to let him cycle through his deck. Priest can be in a lot of trouble if he doesn't get to cycle. And now I can start playing on curve. Oh, or can I? I have no way to deal with an or can I? If I hit it with this one even, he can use, still use hero power. That's actually pretty rough. He can do so many things if he has a circle. Let's see. But now that I hit it, if he has a circle, at least that's going to die as well. In the last name. 
Yeah, getting some pretty decent value here. And still getting to keep the Light Warden up. Go with Belcher or go with Drake. What would he like to play next turn? Cabal. Let's play the Belcher. He doesn't have anything to heal here. I have no time for games. Oh, Sylvanas is pretty sweet. I don't have a response to Sylvanas right now. I think I want to kill the Light Warden anyway. Cycle with the Drake. Might kill his own Sylvanas. I guess I want to cycle with the Drake anyway. I just have to find something. Oh, the good doctor as well. Interesting. So now I have a choice between killing Sylvanas or doing something about the boom. I think I have to kill Sylvanas. And then I can play an Ancient of War. Hope he doesn't have much of anything here. I could also try to draw with the lore. But dangerous times. Dangerous times no matter what. Shadow or Death or Entomb would be really bad against an Ancient of War. Maybe I just play the lore and draw. Maybe I find an answer to the boom. Something like a big game hunter. So I guess this is this is less vulnerable to Entomb. Wrath and Living Roots, not quite enough. With the Azure Drake, actually, I could deal 7 damage with Wrath and Living Roots. But I even had the mana to do that. I guess I will go for it. You will still have the Boom, but... But I can kill Boom. Couldn't find the big game hunter in time. Feels bad. But at least I was able to get rid of Boom. Ouch, that hit for three. Let me change your mind. Playing a blank cabal. Okay. How do I respond? I respond with an Ancient of War. Let's try this. He already used one in Tomb. So now is the time to try out the Ancient of War, if ever. He doesn't have many cards. He already used one in Tomb. Light Bomb doesn't do anything about it. Excavated Evil doesn't do anything about it. Shadow or Dead does do a lot of plot about it. But now in Tomb and a Shadow or Dead have been spent. That's 5 damage available, but I can now play Chromagus. Let's play Chromagus. He might be able to kill that with some some kind of light bomb. Light bomb shenanigans or something. But I at least get to draw once. Too bad that I drew an innervate. That's not useful. That's not too useful. I guess I'm, I can double innervate the Blackwing Technician. But that was just about the worst card I could draw. If that's the only draw I get from Chromagus. And that is the only draw I get from Chromagus. I can clear this board though. Do I want to clear this board? I could just drop Emperor. Mm. 
I guess I will clear. Deny Valen's chosen target and everything. So Moonfire and hero power here. If he has a second Cabal, he can Cabal the Keeper though. But he doesn't have that many cards in hand. I would have to try to out-tempo him. Hope he doesn't draw the Ancient of Lore so he can draw more. He might have a Light Bomb. This is time to play Emperor. Not all. He, well, he, one Light Bomb has been spent, but he has another in his deck. He's running double Shadow Ward Death and Entomb. That's pretty sweet. A lot of removal. Running a lot of removal here. And time to play Chill more. They don't have a dragon to activate its effect, but I don't need its effect for anything right now, so it's even better for me this way. <laughs> you bastard. That's the second light bomb. Okay. This is getting interesting. No dragon to activate the corruptor, no. I might just swipe this. Keep my minion. On the other hand, he's probably ha he probably has he probably has another cabal. So I could just trade. And play a couple of minions on the board. Both light bombs are gone now. Two shadow word deaths are gone. One end tomb is gone. Actually, the best card that he can draw is pretty much the Ancient of Lore here, to draw two more cards. I can draw two more cards now myself. I like that. Now let's see if we can out-tempo him. Do I draw with this one? I have only four cards left in my deck. I guess I'd still draw. I guess I will still draw with it. I just have to out-tempo him really, really hard here. That's my way to win. Or can I circle? Is his out? How many do you see? Holy champion is not. I can just star for the holy champion. If I could heal, I could pick Game Hunter, it, but uh, now it's just Starfall on that. And hit face, face, face. And from here as well to face. Yeah. What is he going to find? Nova? Double Nova, maybe. No, not double Nova, just one Nova. He gets to 19, I have 13. 13 plus quite something. 13 plus 7. Yeah, that's enough. Let's wield the power of Blackwing. Yes! Yes! Managed to be the control priest. Thank you for watching. For more action, please visit my YouTube channel. And if you like what you see, remember to subscribe.